mat. And up. Let's do one more each side. Open. Squeeze the navel. Roll the belly button down to the spine. Tap. And up. One more time. Finding that rotation in the hip socket. Good. Very nice, everybody. Lovely. Now we're going to do the same thing with both legs. So we open both legs back. So it's like a little frog position. We circle around. We tap the mat. And then we draw the knees up. Very good. Inhale. We circle. We open, we tap the mat, and we draw the knees up nicely. It's good. One more that direction. We open, we circle, we tap the mat. Now we're going to reverse. So we go down and we tap the mat with the toes, open the knees to the side, and then exhale, draw them up. Inhale, tap. Keeping that spine in control of those abdominals. Good. Two more. Really open up through those knees. Good, everyone. Nice to see your back sing really still there. Well done. One more. And draw the knees in. Nicely done. Just give them a tight squeeze. Take a little boat, rocking motion side to side. Really give control. Look, if you're watching everyone's backs there, very, very nice. When we do that movement, the tendency is that we want to sort of arch our spine. So the holding of the core is what really activates the deep muscles so that we don't move our spine there. But really well done. We're gonna, um, it can be extend on that movement a little bit. So keeping the hands where they are, we're gonna do the same thing, the same prep with those legs, yeah? As we take a deep breath, and we're gonna open out, right leg out to the side. Now this time your hips are going to shift. You're gonna bring your left to follow. You squeeze the knees to touch, extend them on the diagonal, and then exhale, bend the knees, and then draw them back up to table. So this time, your shoulders are staying down, but your hips are going to slightly move, okay? Left leg opens, right leg follows. We stretch them out to the diagonal, stretch, stretch, stretch. Bend the knees, and then draw them up nice, everybody. Good, so inhale, right opens, left to follow. Squeeze the thighs together as you extend the legs. Good, bend them in, draw them up. Inhale, left leg open, right to follow. Extend by that diagonal. Good. Bend the knees. Let's do one more each side. Deep breath in, open the right, left to follow. Extend and reach through the back of the legs. Bend it. Good. Back to the table. Other side, left leg, right leg follows. Extend, bend the knee, coming up, and then draw the knees in. Nice job, guys. Take one more breath there, just moving the knees around any direction that feels nice. That's it, yeah, so take a little shift side to side. That's it, so off across that lower back. Lovely. Okay, last little warm up here for the abdominals and then we're gonna move on. So we're going to take that now even further with that rotation. So you've got a few options. If you're struggling a little bit with the abdominal control, you can take your hands into like the butterfly position and just place it under your tailbone just for a little bit of support so that your back doesn't arch. But if you're feeling strong enough, just keep the hands out to the side, yeah? So as you start the exercise, if it gets too much, just place the hands under your butt and that will help a little bit more with the control. Okay, so we come up to our tabletop. We're going to extend the legs up, press those hands down to the floor. We're going to tilt our legs back to the side. We take a deep breath as we circle all the way around to the floor. We come around to the other side, and then exhale, we come up. That's it. So inhale, we go over to the side. We do a V circle just as low as you can go without your back arching. Coming over to the other side and draw them up. Beautiful control ladies. Bend your knees if you need to, if you find too much strain in the back of those legs. Yeah, lovely guys, beautiful work. Let's do one more each side. Go a bit lower, really test yourself. Yes, oh lovely work everyone. Really nice, let's do one more. Big circle, like you're drawing that circle with your toes. Draw the legs up and hug the knees in. Excellent job, ladies. Yeah, nice and done. Some excellent control there. Just bring those feet down to the mat. Just take a windscreen wiper side to side with the knees. Let your bottom just release. Back release. Great work, guys. Beautiful. 
Nice, okay, let's come into that second side, my lovely. So keep pressing down to the floor, and then we're gonna squeeze the other knee into the chest. And we just start by pulling that thigh down towards the body. So if you've been thinking of pressing the top of the quad down into your chest area, so you've got that strong pulling action in the arms. And then we're just going to gently move into those circles. So just circling that knee around one direction. And just, just taking this easy. If you find this a bit straining, just making the circles a little smaller, that's absolutely fine. And then we reverse up around the other way. Gentle movement there. Lovely stuff. And we're going to send that leg up towards the ceiling. And we're going to find that window position. So hands up, making the window around our face. And we flex the foot back towards us. And now as much as you can, you want to straighten through the knee. But if you need a bend, that's absolutely fine. Just making sure you're doing as best you can to lengthen the back of the leg there. Yeah, nice, everybody. Good. As we get fatigued, it does bend a little bit. So that's absolutely we inhale, we open out to the side, we go as low as we can without our hips moving. And then exhale, we draw the leg up. Good. Inhale, we flex the open leg out. Exhale, up. Nice control, everyone. Good. Flex and open. Keep the hips facing the ceiling. Good. You know, both sides of your bottom glued to the mat there. That's it. Nice, 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 nice. Open and come strong. Exhale to lift. Inhale, squeeze the abdominals as you lengthen. Good, we've got three more there, guys. Deep breath in. Strong exhale. Inhale, two. And exhale, lovely work. Inhale, this is your last one. Exhale, now we're going to open this one out here. And we're going to point through that foot. We're just going as low as we can without our hips moving. And we move into those tiny, Excellent, good. Make sure those hips are up to the ceiling for me. And then reverse in the direction. Just steady breathing here. Nice, everyone. Doing so well. Keep that breath. Good. Now we're going to go back to the flex. We're going to pivot our hand down this time. So we're facing down now. We slice that leg in to tap the other leg. And then exhale, we come back out to the side. Inhale, we squeeze it in. And exhale. Our side. Good. As we do this, try to let relax your glutes. So you just want to use your abdominals and your leg muscles to draw that leg in. And then exhale, extend. Let's do three more. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful work. And two. And exhale. Nice, nice, nice. Three. And exhale. Good. Bring it down. To the bottom of your mat. Reach those arms up, come up to a cranked position, point through those toes, and then we slow lift the leg for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We reach for the foot, we reach a little higher, we reach a little higher. That's it. Now take your other leg up to join, reach a little higher, try to tap your toes, squeeze, 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 and then hug the knees in. Nice work, ladies. Great job. Just bring that um, right knee, the leg that you've just had up in the air. Give it a good stretch. Cross it across the left leg. Take that little rocky motion. Just release all that tension. And then when you're ready, just come into another little frog position. Just let those knees fold out to the side. Yeah, do a little movement that feels nice. If it feels nice, just to stay still, just stay still. Whatever feels good. Yeah, very good. Nice. Now we're going to do our double leg extension today. So, such a basic Pilates exercise, but definitely one of the best ones for our core. So, um, always remember your options in this one, guys. If your head is starting to feel a bit strained, or it's just feeling a bit too much today, you can do all of this with the head down on the floor, okay?
okay, otherwise we're going to work in our flexion, so we're coming up into a little crunch position, drawing the abdominals down, bring your right knee towards you, and then bring your left in as well. Nice. Now from here, we're going to take the top of the shins, we're going to pull ourselves a tiny bit higher. As we pull ourselves a tiny bit higher, our belly draws down a bit deeper. That's it, good. So we draw down into the core. We're going to extend the arms and the legs together, Take a deep breath in and send them out on our exhale. So deep breath in. Exhale, we reach. Inhale, we circle and we scoop the knees in. Good. Exhale, we extend. We circle, we scoop the knees in. Nice. Reach and exhale. Inhale in. Exhale. And draw them in. Let's do three more. Three. Draw them in. And two. Head can come down if you need. Good. And one. Nice, guys. Now take this next one out. Take it out. Drop your right foot to the mat. Bring it up. Drop your left foot to the mat. Bring it up. And scoop the knees in. So a little bit of an extra combo there. Deep breath in. Exhale. Extend. Right leg down. Left leg down. Inhale. Draw it in. Very good. Exhale. Good. Right leg down. Left leg down. Inhale, we've got two more sets, extend. Right leg down, left leg down, draw the knees in, use your last one, exhale, reach. Right leg down, left leg down, hold it, hold it, hold it, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, and hold the knees in. Nice. And breath in. Very good work, guys. You can take a little rock, left to right. Again, any motion that helps you relax the back. And just breathe. Good. Bring your feet down to the mat. And move into a little bit of bridge work before we come up to our seated position. So just bring your hands to the mat. Make sure you can just tap the back of your ankles here. And then in this position, like we talked about at the start of the class, with, those, uh, with that pelvic alignment, we're going to come into our scooped, tucking, imprinted spine before we come up. So we tuck the pelvis, we draw the hips towards the ribs, and we think of scooping down as we push our hips up. So we've got kind of like a double energy kind of system here. As we get to the top, we squeeze the butt, and then we roll, and we come all the way down. As soon as we reach the floor, we come straight back up, we kind of take a little arch, and then we tuck and we roll and we come straight back up, pulling down the abdominals, pushing up through the hips, right up onto that upper back, and we squeeze at the top, and then we reverse and we roll down. Good, ladies, very nice. We have two more. Think of articulating the spine, so one vertebrae at a time peels off the mat slowly. You find that peak position, you squeeze the glutes, and then you roll down. Nice, guys. Let's hold this next one up here at the top. Squeezing, holding at the top. And then just bring your right arm up towards the ceiling and your left arm up towards the ceiling. Nice. Now you're just going to lower the hips halfway down here, and then exhale, pushing up to the top. Good. So we're just lowering halfway down. And then exhale, push, squeeze the bottom at the top. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. We have three more. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now let's just hold this next one up here. Hold at the top. Rise up into the balls of the feet and squeeze the bottom. And we do the same thing up here. So we lower halfway on our inhale. And then exhale, we push. Good. Inhale, we lower. And exhale, we push up through the pelvis. Inhale. Exhale, up. Two more deep breath in to tuck the little toe pelvis down. Exhale. Nice. Good. Let's hold the arms on up. Squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. Lower the heels. Bring the arms down. And then one vertebrae at a time. Roll down through the spine. Nicely done, guys. So you can come out, hug the knees in, whatever feels good. Just take a deep breath there. Very good job. Nice work. All right, my lovelies. From here, just stretch those legs out nice and long. We're going to come into 
to our roll-ups to find our seed posture today. So, uh, roll-ups, if you know that they're, they're a bit tricky, you struggle with them at all, you can keep your knees bent and use your hands on your legs to walk yourself up, okay? Alternatively, we're just going to use our arms and our breath to sit us all the way up. So, first thing to remember is that I want to hear for this exercise a really, really loud exhale. So almost like a machine, you take this really strong inhale, and then as you exhale, that really strong exhale is what pushes the torso back. So feet are just a comfortable distance apart, reaching the arms back behind you. Take a strong inhale, and then feel very loud exhale to sit up. Nice, well done guys. At the top, we're gonna reach the arms up, keep the spine straight, and just pivot your chest forward. As you hold here, reach your hands back behind you. One, two, and then bring yourself back up to your tall back with your arms in front. And then we scoop and we roll all the way back down. That's it. One vertebrae at a time. Slowly down to the left. Nice, guys. Beautiful. We take a strong inhale. We take our strong exhale to sit up. Good. Nice, everyone. Good, reach those arms up, find that tall spine, and then just pivot that shape forward. Then we take the two pulses, one, two, so we're working those back muscles, that's it. Good, coming back up, bring those arms down, and then tuck into the abdominals, slowly articulate and roll yourself down. Yes, oh, great control, yeah, beautiful. Very, very good, ladies, nice. Let's do one more like that, deep breath in. Exhale. All right. Nice roll up, guys. Beautiful. Reach the arms up. Tilt yourself forward. Now, this time in that position, just take your legs a little bit wider. That's it. Flex through your feet and make sure your thumbs are pointing back behind you. Scoop into the abdominals and then try and push your thumbs back and then bring it in line with your head. Push your thumbs back. Yes. Bring it in line with your head. For 10. Down. Nine, down, eight, tilt a bit further forward if you can. There, there you go, good, 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 that's it. Yeah, five, four, three, and two. Great work, guys. And one, hold, hold it, feel that back muscle really activate. And then relax, just bring your head down. You can just take a quick stretch there, relax with that. Very good work. That's a really hard one to get the position, but the muscles we're trying to work with the weak ones here in between the scapular muscle there, yeah. Yeah, just take a moment to take a breath before you can move into some seated work. Very nice roll-ups today, guys. Really well done. And good. Lovely. Okay, we're going to take a quick saw just to open up our spine before we move on. So for saw, again, it's kind of up to you. I take my feet about to the edge of the mat. If that's comfortable, that's perfect, yeah. And then we want to have a bit of activation in the legs, but not, not too much. So just enough that you're sort of able to activate the flexors, but not, not like too much pressure. So just a little bit, yeah. That's sort of like 70% energy. And then we open the arms wide out to the side. Palms are facing down to start. And then we want to sit nice and tall. Lovely. Good. Like we've got a piece of string attached to that the top of your head, pulling that to the spine. Good, now we turn the palms to face the front. We twist over, we're going to twist over our left leg first. We do two little pulses. So we twist one, two, and then we try and reach beyond that foot as we saw that toe off with the hand. That's it. We come up, we find that tall spine, and we come back to center. We go to the second side, we pulse one, two. We reach across the toe, keep our bottom glued to the mat. We find that tall spine, and we come back to center. Inhale, we twist, we pulse. Exhale, we extend. Good. We come back up, we find our center. Inhale, we pulse for two. Inhale. Exhale, we extend. Reach beyond that toe. Back up to center. Lovely, guys. Let's do one more each side. Really feel like you're bringing out your core here, like squeezing through those abdominals. Find your tall spine. Last one. Inhale, twist, pulse. Pops across the foot. Beautiful, guys. So good. Yeah, yeah, really nice work. Lovely. 
And then just holding it here for one breath. And then we're just going to bring our hands. Mm, let's bring them down actually for this exercise because this is a bit tricky. We're going to do a little bit of uh, a little bit more leg work in this seated posture. So for this one, you're going to take your fingers to face like face forward and just move yourself back slightly. So not too far back, but just a little bit. Yeah. Think of drawing the belly in here, really squeezing in through the core, and then push your shoulders down so you've got a nice strong chest. That's it. And point through your feet. Yeah. And you know how I was just saying about how we have like not too much activation in the legs. Now we're going to really activate. So we're going to stretch them as much as we can. Squeeze your left leg and just lift it a few inches off the floor. Good. Now feel your core activating and then lower it down. Good. Inhale, squeeze and lift your right leg off the floor. And lower. Beautiful. Inhale, squeeze and lift your left. And lower. Squeeze and lift your right. Now if that's too easy, some of you look like that's way too easy. It's too, too easy. You're going to take your hands and just reach them forward. Now in this position, still step back slightly, but pull that belly in like you're just being punched in the stomach. Here we go. We lift the left leg. Oh, beautiful back. And lower. We lift the right leg. Oh, so, so good. Do you find it easier? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, put them down then. <laughs> Bend. 
inhale three and bend good two and bend and one now we're going to tap the floor down one exhale lift and two exhale lift and three exhale lift and four exhale and five good one more nice now swing it back behind you just hold it here for one brief moment bring it in and then push your bottom down take a deep breath there good just let your body melt down take a moment the trick is we want to keep everything really still when we do those exercises so we don't want to shift our weight from side to side too much we use our core to stabilize that position but you all look very in control there so good Take one more moment. Good. And then coming up, we'll prepare ourselves for the second side. So a little bend in the elbows. We send our weight into our right leg this time. Start to elevate that left knee, draw up through the core. Good. And then we turn it directly to the side. Okay. And exhale down. Inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale. Yeah, that's it. Direct exercise. Lovely. Like you're just opening a door and closing it. That's it. Four to three. Good, guys. Think of just keeping that shape really square as well. So just think about that 90 degree angle. That kind of helps visually. Good. Now we're going to hold this next one out to the side. We extend, we just stretch the knee, and then we bend the knee. And inhale and exhale. Four, four. Good. And three. And two, good, and one. We tap it down, and exhale, and two, and exhale, and three, and exhale, four, good, and five. Send it back behind you, reach it nice and long, hold it, hold it, bring the knee down, and just push yourself back. Beautiful. Take a well deserved rest there. Very good. Let's relax the bottom. Just really let your back fall into the floor. Try to think about your bottom sinking down into the mat, into the back of the heels again. Good. 
in how we lift. Yeah, nice, everyone. Beautiful. And good. Lifting up, squeeze through the core. Keep pulling that belly in as you lift. And low. Let's do three more lifts. Nice work, ladies. Good. Finding that opening in the hip. Strength through the glutes. Good. Next one, we're going to hold back. We're going to draw those little circles up in the sky with the big toe. Draw that belly in, belly in. That's it. And reverse. Nice. Bring it down with control. Tuck the toes. And then prepare. Press down through the forearm. Deep breath in. Squeeze through the core and send your right leg back. And we're going to have forearm low plank. Good. We're going to do a few movements here. Now drop the knees if you need. We're going to just drift our weight forward and then pull ourselves back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Three more times, inhale and exhale. And two, very good. And one, hold it here, hold it here. Let yourself release now to the mat and then just come onto your front there. Well done. Take a breath here. Just relax everything into the floor and just bring your head down. Just feel your body really release and relax there. Just take a few breaths on your belly before you move into the back floor. And then in this position back, you just have your feet just like a gentle distance apart, whatever feels comfortable for you. So if it's like all the way to the edge of the mat, that's fine. Not from any further than that, but just in a comfortable distance apart, I would say. Yeah. Now we're going to do a little bit of back extension here. So bring your left hand to the front of the mat like this, and then you're going to bring your right hand on top to start. So it's yeah about um, this, as you can see, about that far away from you. Yeah. So not too far apart. Uh, yeah. We take a deep breath in. And then as we exhale, we're going to push ourselves up. But what I want you to do is try and draw your belly off the mat. So you want to squeeze your tummy up into your spine so that you're not pushing your belly out to push yourself up. So we draw the tummy in. Don't worry if it doesn't lift off the floor, but you want to have that action. We take a deep breath in, and then we push down into our hand, and we're going to push ourselves up to find an extension. So we find that long length in the spine. We lower halfway down. We push back up one. Inhale, we lower. We push back up two. Good. Inhale, we lower. If anyone feels this in their back, just stop. Yeah, it's definitely not work jarring your back. We're just trying to work over arms and work out active muscles in our upper body. Two more times. Nice. Good. Now we're going to lower all the way down. And we're just going to switch the top hand straight away. Keep breath in. Exhale, we push up. And we lower halfway down. Draw the belly in to come up. Good. Down, inhale. Exhale, push up. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. And last one. Exhale. And lower. Good. Nice. Take a moment there. Well done. Very, very good. Now we've got one more. Um, so sort of varying in on that one. This time, we're going to just do sort of one arm at a time. So you bring your step down right arm. You're going to bring it in front of you like the same as you did before. And then your left arm is just going to extend out, yeah? So we draw through the belly, we squeeze, and we take an exhale to push up. Now, in this position, you're going to lift your arm up and down. Try and reach it behind your head. Squeeze through your back. That's it. And inhale. And exhale, two more. Yes, nice there, very good. Hold it here, squeeze, draw the belly in, squeeze, draw the belly in, and then come down. Good, let's switch sides. Well done, it's really good, right? Can you come this way so I can see you pick on you? <laughs> okay, you ready? So now we're going to do the other side, yeah? So left hand in front, bring your right hand forward, you can deep breath in, and we lift up. Nice. Very good. Now take the arm back. Now don't worry about how high you are with that body weight. You want to take the arm back as far as you can. That's it. Good. And inhale and exhale. Good. 
Very, very good. Yes, good. Good, good, ladies. Get yeah, yeah. three more. Four, three. Beautiful. One and two. Nice. Draw the belly in. One. Good. Now hold it here this time. Bring both hands in a little bit closer to you. Squeeze through your abdominals and then see if you can take your arms back. Hold that position. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Beautiful. And relax. Very good job, guys. Well done. Very nice work. Lovely. One more breath here and we'll move into some side line to conclude. So just roll over onto your side in that position. Yeah, finding your side line position. And then just lining yourself up. Try to think about making a very straight line from your feet to your head. That's it. Now our top hand is just going to place down in front of us. Yeah. But it, think about really drawing the belly here, pulling the body off the floor. And then you're going to place this hand down into the mat here. Good. Uh, just be careful if it's off the mat. You might want to sort of shuffle yourself this way so that your full arm for this exercise is on the mat. Yeah, because we're going to do some side drag ups. So we press down into that top hand. You take a deep breath in. And then this hand on the floor, I want you to press it down as hard as you can. As you exhale, you're going to push yourself up. And it's like you're dragging that arm up. Yeah. And then you slide it back down. So the more you push down in this hand, the more activation you're going to get in your arms, yeah? So deep breath in, exhale, really push down into that arm to draw yourself up like that, and slide back down. Good, let's do three more. Inhale, exhale, slide, pull yourself up, that's it, and down. And two, drag it up, yes. Press down, nice. Last time we're gonna hold it up here. Hold it up, hold it up. And now we're in a nice position there. Just activate this arm and then just take that top arm up. Good, squeeze, hold that position. Really feel this underneath arm working. And then slide it down slowly with control. And bring yourself just over to a stretch there. Beautiful, nicely done. Good. Bring that top hand down, that's just back into the floor, and then just take your top leg and then just place it behind you. Just kind of pivoting open here with the pelvis, so we're going to work out in a thigh. Yeah, so you can just, instead of being in a straight line this time, you can slightly open out to the, to the diagonal. Yeah, just so it's nice and comfortable. Good. Now we're going to just lift our underneath leg. You lift it a few inches off the floor and then exhale. Inhale, lift it up and exhale. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Yeah, beautiful, guys. Very, very nice work. Yeah. Thinking about just keeping that leg as straight as you can. Activating those inner thighs as you lift. And lower. Good. Lift. Let's do three more. Four, three. And two. Good. And one. Now hold it up here. You're going to bend the knee and bring that leg forward. Stretch, bring it in and then stretch it out long. That's it. So inhale, you bring it sort of to tap your other foot actually. That's it, yeah. And then exhale. Good. Four, five. And reach. And four. And reach. Very good. And three. Nicely done. And two. Very good. Now hold it here for the last one. Bring that knee up towards your other knee. Squeeze and then open. Inhale, squeeze and lift. Exhale, open. Beautiful. Inhale, squeeze and lift. Exhale, three more. Squeeze and lift. Exhale, and two. Exhale, and one. Hold it here. Squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. And then just relax. So just roll directly over the road to your back. Take your frog. Take a deep breath. Well done, guys. Beautiful articulation of those legs. Very nice. Precise work. You can see, lovely. Take a moment there. Class goes too fast. Yes. It just flies by. I know. Oh. All right, lovely. So let's come to our other side. And we will do that on the second side. 
So yeah, just move yourself so you've got your full arm on the mat there. And yeah, the more we press down, we kind of work, kind of work the like underneath of our arm, here, like sort of like the inner, almost to your triceps, but like this underneath area here, pressing down is what's going to activate that muscle. Yeah. All right. Here we go. So top arm presses down. We take a deep breath and we draw up through our side body, active through our core. We press down and we press up up on our exhale. Activate that arm. Good, that's it. And slide it back down. Yeah, nice. Deep breath in. Exhale, press it down. Like you want to drag that arm in and down. Yeah, nicely done. Exhale, pushing up. Beautiful, guys. Yeah, very, very good. Slide it down. We have three more inhale to prepare. Exhale. That's it. Good. Last two. Drag it in. Good. Last one. And then we hold it up here. Really press down through that hand. Activate this arm. And then just reach that other arm up. Draw up through your side body. Squeeze through the core. Imagine you could just lift this hand off the mat at any time. And slowly lower all the way down. Well done. And take it through. Very good. Nicely done. All right, take that hand back down in front of you. Just take that top leg and place it behind you. Let your pelvis slightly open to the corner there. We're just gonna come into our inner thigh lifts. So we lift, inhale, and exhale down. That's it. Just thinking about the inside of our thigh. So this muscle here really working to lift the leg. That's it. Lift and down. Inhale and exhale.
take the inside of the foot, just start to pull that thigh down to the side of your body. Get a bit of jarring motion in that hip. Just keeping the try not to tilt over, try to keep the pelvis square there. That's it. Yeah, good. And then cross it across your other knee and just take a few little rocks side to side. And then when you're ready, you can loop through. Find a little bit of a deeper body stretch if you fancy. Or just stay there. Just open it. Whatever works for you personally is fine. Yeah. And then release that foot and we'll just do a few of our rolling like a ball just to sit up. So just take a nice rock and roll up and down that spine. Just enjoy this. If it hurts your back, you don't even need to do it. It should just be a nice one for the spine to be honest. Good. And then coming all the way out. Good, we'll just finish in a seated position today. So just cross those legs any comfortable way. And we'll just do three deep breaths to finish. So breathing in, reach the arms up. And then like your inner pull the body, press down those arms through the water. Good, two more times, deep breath in. Lots of positive energy into your Friday. Exhale. Lovely, and last deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Great work, ladies. Well done, everybody.